how to survive in Korea. Bus. Hey everybody, I'm Vaughn from USA and I've been living in Korea for a few years now. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to survive in Korea. Have you ever heard about public transportation in Korea? It's amazing. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to survive on a Korean bus. Waiting for the bus. When you're waiting for the bus, there are times that you're getting on a bus or getting in line for the bus. And most of the time, the closer to the bus's entrance, the earlier you can get on the bus. So positioning is everything when you're trying to get on the bus. Let's see. Okay, so where's the best place to wait for the bus? Right here, the closest place to the door. If you're too far back, you're gonna have a hard time getting on the bus and you'll have to wait for a sec. If you don't wanna stand in line every time you get on the bus, keep that in mind. When the bus comes. There are a lot of times when it's not my bus and at that time, real Koreans should politely tell the driver if they wanna ride it or not. How can I tell the driver if I wanna get on their bus or not? Remember this rule, stand up and smartphone. When the bus that you're supposed to take comes, you should make direct eye contact with the driver. Then he'll never pass you. Second, if it's not your bus, look at your smartphone with all your might. You wanna let the driver know you don't wanna get on their bus. You don't like their bus, you'd rather take any other bus. I would rather swallow a jean jacket whole than get on your bus. That's the polite way to say I'm not interested. Taking the bus. After getting on the bus, you need to find a seat. Another important point here, start with the empty seats first. You need to first sit in an empty double seat. Now, if somebody sits next to you when there's an empty double seat, maybe that person has a little crush on you. Getting off the bus. When we get to our destination, we're ready to get off. We have to appeal to the driver and let them know that we need to get off the bus. First, we had to appeal to the driver before we got on the bus. This time, we need to appeal to the passengers around me to get off the bus. So, you're gonna ring the little bell, pack up your bags, and get out your transportation card. The last thing you wanna do is be fumbling around before you get off. That way, you can escape through the bus and get through countless people before you get off. So today, we learned about how to survive on a Korean bus. Super simple. So, please remember these tips when you use a bus in Korea. All right, see ya.